Hello horror fans, welcome back to J vs. Horror. I am your host, Jay Wall, and today we're going to be discussing the 2021 horror film, The Unholy. It's a 2021 American supernatural horror film written, produced, and directed by Evan Spiliotopoulos. This is his directorial debut, and it is based on the 1983 novel Shrine by James Herbert. Produced by Sam Raimi through his Ghost House Pictures banner, it stars Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Cricket Brown, Carrie Elwes, and William Sadler. So let's read the listed premise for this film. Alice, played by Cricket Brown, is a young hearing impaired girl who, after a supposed visitation from the Virgin Mary, is inexplicably able to hear, speak, and heal the sick. As word spreads and people from near and far flock to witness her miracles, a disgraced journalist, played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Hoping to revive his career, visits the small New England town to investigate. When terrifying events begin to happen all around, he starts to question if these phenomena are the works of the Virgin Mary or something much more sinister. So, right off the bat, guys, I can tell you that the plot that they have put out there is misleading because it makes it sound like the story is following Alice, this young hearing impaired girl, when actually the story is following Jeffrey Dean Morgan's character of this disgraced journalist. And it shows that he's going out to do a article on cattle mutilation when, while in this field, he starts to hear weird voices and discovers a tree with a small doll buried inside of it. Now, these are called Kern dolls, and normally they are a sign of good luck. But in this instance, the doll that he's found is bound with a chain and it also has the impossible date of February 31st on it. And from here we follow Jeffrey Dean Morgan's character of Jerry Finn as he starts to see unexplainable things and experience unexplainable things. Then he meets a priest who runs a small Catholic church and this is where he meets Alice who is deaf but all of a sudden Alice starts to hear this voice too and it draws her to the tree in the cow pasture and there's this miracle where Alice begins to be able to hear and it's really not possible as we're told because she's never heard before. And so even if she could hear, she wouldn't understand language. She wouldn't understand English language. But that all seems to just happen here. She instantly understands everything everyone is saying. Sounds like she's spoken her whole life. So once Alice receives this gift of being able to hear again, she starts to become the vessel of this entity that has granted her this miracle and she refers to it as a woman named Mary. Now everyone just assumes that she means the Virgin Mary. As the film moves on Jeffrey Dean Morgan's character realizes that what's going on here is absolutely evil and that the devil is kind of mocking faith by putting this forward. We also see it take kind of a modern direction because this entity of Mary wants to be heard and believed by all and the best way to do that is to manipulate the media. So we spend about the last 20, 30 minutes of this film with Jeffrey Dean Morgan running around now trying to stop this entity's ultimate plan from happening. All right, horror fans, here's where I give you my personal thoughts on the film. Now, honestly, I would probably give this film about 6 out of 10, but I'm going to be honest and say that's because I'm a little bit jaded by these supernatural horror films. I mean... For years, it felt like we didn't have any really great supernatural horror films. And then The Conjuring and Insidious and films like that started. And once they started, they just kept rolling in with all these new different... Uh, La La Rona and The Nun and all these other supernatural horror films. And this feels like it's pretty much on par with those films. I won't say that it's scary because to me it wasn't scary at all. There were kind of a couple interesting choices they made with the villain here that I liked. But other than that, it's just basically your run-of-the-mill supernatural horror story. I mean, you feel like you've seen this movie before, even though you haven't, while you're watching it. And I just get so tired of these films doing the same old thing over and over. This film has, you know, a evil woman moving in a weird way. This has been going on since The Grudge. And it also has just these long weird monologues where these different uh, priests and people like that, you know, they all have their own idea about what's going on here. And so they have to speak to Jeffrey Dean Morgan's character in this weird way where, like, it's like exposition, but it's really weird exposition because it's like, oh, everybody knows this. 
Didn't you know that the devil, any time that uh, God builds a church, the devil builds a chapel, they, you know, use quotes from history and they just talk about it too much, to be honest with you. It's, it's, they talk about it too much. And the story would be really great if the mystery were better. I think the mystery is given away in the first scene of the movie, so there's nothing really to try to figure out. You're watching someone else try to figure things out to a point where you can move on with the story and that becomes aggravating because as horror fans I would say and also just generally as audience members we know that this is a horror film we know that whatever's happening here is not what it seems to be that it's completely evil but we have to wait for the characters in the film to find it out and I don't have a problem with that but if I'm going to have to wait to figure out what they're figuring out I don't want you to tell me what it is in the beginning and then I have to sit here and watch this guy figure it out for an hour uh, that's kind of a little boring to be honest with you and I think they tried to go for story here over effects and over jump scares but the story's really not that great either and so far this film has not gotten great reviews from critics it's gotten basically negative reviews and I don't know if I can give it a negative review I mean the production value of the movie is top notch the cast is great Everybody does a wonderful job here. It's moody, it's atmospheric, but there's just it's like a really pretty shell with nothing inside. You know, there's there's not a lot when you start digging deep here. There's definitely not a lot that we haven't seen before somewhere, either in an anthology or another movie or something like that. We've seen these kind of of stories before, but it just seems boring, guys. In fact, it seems so boring that I'm boring myself talking about it. So I'm going to give this one 6 out of 10, and I'm going to let you make up your own mind, guys. It's definitely worth a watch. I mean, that's just the thing about it. The market is so flooded with these types of movies. If this movie came out 30 years ago and I saw it, it would be a classic horror film probably, and I would still be talking about it in a nostalgic way. But we've just been bombarded with these films over the last decade, and this one just seems like, you know, a lot like a lot of the other ones we've already seen. So, with that being said, guys, I am going to show you the trailer to The Unholy, and we will talk to you the next time we've got something worth talking about. Bye. She's here. Listen, I have a story for you. Something the Examiner will love. A healing, possibly divine. A girl performing miracles after a visitation from the Virgin Mary. Chicago, New York, D.C., every demographic on this planet is eating this up. Give me the exclusive. All right, I think I got this all set up. What do you say we do a couple real easy questions? How many are going to watch? Mary wants to reach as many people as possible. Maybe millions. There are people out there that don't believe in your miracles. How would you respond to those folks? Seeing is believing. And why do you think Mary chose you? I opened myself up and welcomed her in. Witnesses of the Virgin Mary draw millions of faithful each year. The Vatican's been tasked to investigate this visitation from the Blessed Virgin. I have read several libraries worth on the supernatural. <laughs> Investigated half a dozen miracles. Prove him all false. She's here. You think there could be other forces at play here? When God builds a church, the devil builds a chapel next door. Don't doubt her. Doubt weakens faith. Hail Mary, full of grace. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. This is not the work of the Virgin Mary. It's the work of the unholy. Faith in evil and power zero. Believe in her. Offer your soul to Mary. Lord is with you.